All right, so that's it for our demo. Now let's proceed with the live Q&A portion of this session. I did not see any questions yet. So uh, feel free again to submit any questions you have um, so Ty can uh, answer them, them live. Uh, meanwhile, since we don't see any questions yet, uh, perhaps um, let's start with some questions that we often see come up. So in the demo video, we briefly saw Dan demonstrate how GitLab, how to use GitLab for project planning. Uh, but Ty, can you go a layer deeper and talk through how we can use GitLab for Agile or Scrum planning? Yeah, so um, let's see if I can. Oh, sorry, actually. I, yeah, I see there's a question there. Um, let's, skip. let's skip that for now. Well, can we, uh, yeah, let me, let me take a look here. Uh, from Prabhat. Thank you, Prabhat, for submitting your question. So Prabhat asked, um, I have deployed GitLab in GKE cluster using GitLab Helm chart in my company, but the issue is the email does not work. The application does not send any emails. Can you explain or show how to configure the SMTP emails in GKE for GitLab? Yeah, so something this specific, what I can do is I can follow up afterwards um, with documentation and um, explaining how to set up SMTP emails. Uh, for the time that we have here, and there's not a lot of time to, to go through this process. So. Um, do we actually i don't know do we get their emails or do we have Prebus email that i can yeah follow so, up with and, and send him some information around um setting up email yes for sure yeah so we do have uh everyone's email so we will send the recording as well as a uh, follow-up um, to your question from us okay i will yep awesome thank you for uh, i'll go back to um the the agile question that um, was mentioned uh, earlier or just a second ago uh, with uh, with GitLab we have a lot of organizations again that you know looking at this application as a, a an answer for their DevOps um, end to end uh, agile uh, often being a part of DevOps and how they can do project management or, or use kind of the uh, manage plan create portion as we define in, in the, the now 10 categories of the DevOps lifecycle. Um, you could do that. Maybe I'll just share here. Um, and I'll, I won't go, won't go too deep into this. Um, but I will just show in this case, we have a, like a mock organization here. Uh, um, but if I were going to, you know, I, I see the structure that I have this set up in this organization. They have diff several different subgroups, um, maybe value streams or areas that they think uh, make up that organization. Um, down here would be an agile group that has several scrum groups uh, underneath it, billing. Um, but the way that they've done is they've gone in, they've used board views um, to do their backlog management. So I think in this particular case, this, this, uh, this demo, they are looking to do safe as well, scaled agile framework. Um, but you have your backlog, you can prioritize on your backlog. You can assign those issues to sprints and then you can have a dev board um, that you can do the assigning of those issues uh, to certain individuals on a team or if you're a self-organizing team, you can uh, have those assigned to yourself and then mark in progress review and closed um, uh, and create tags. I think we have some technical risk built into this as well with high, medium and low. So we've used tags to do that. That is a very, very quick version of a Scrum Board Agile board just because um, that's a, a general question that we have and, and may not be of interest to the, the attendees we have now, but that's the beginning part of a lot of groups that are using GitLab and they set up their Agile processes that way. And then from there is when you get into creating these issues, you create the merge request, um, you set up your Kubernetes clusters, and then you're creating your, your whole DevOps pipeline, as you saw in the video. Um, with different checkpoints uh, along that pipeline. Awesome. Thank you so much, Ty. Um, is there any other questions that would be, um, you know, of interest? Otherwise, I guess we can wrap up the uh, session. Where is... 
And Prabhat, I will uh, hopefully get you um, within the hour, hour and a half here, that um, that email. Once I get the email or your email from um, Agnes, then uh, I'll send you some information over. All right. So, um, all right. Thank you, Ty. This demo and uh, live Q&A session is something new that we're trying to do. So we'd love to hear your thoughts on today's session and we'll really appreciate your, your responses to our survey which I'll drop in the chat. All right. Um, Thank you. Appreciate you guys' time.